with all the different types and the various methods on them that we've talked about recently, you might begin to wonder, how does one find out about all of these things? I mean, using the book or going through the videos, you can of course see the methods that are introduced and write down your own cheat sheet, but there has to be a source of information for this. And the answer is that you can find out about everything in the Scala libraries inside of the API. API stands for Application Programming Interface, and every language has its own API. For the Scala API, if you go to the main Scala website, scala-lang.org, there's a link down here to API docs. There's also a link up here to documentation. We're going to go to the documentation because this takes you to the main API, but there are actually several APIs for Scala. So clicking on documentation, we can go to the link that says API here, and you can see each of the different APIs that are listed. The main one is the library API. We wind up actually potentially using some of these others. We'll do some XML later on and we'll use that API. Uh, but for now, this has everything that we have been playing with to date. So when you go to the API, it kind of has this two frame appearance where on the left is a list of all of the types that are in here and they are broken out by packages and we can uh, click and say display packages only and you can see a list of the different packages that are in here one of which might seem familiar to you there's the scala.io and you might recall there that we have that import of scala.io dot stdin that we use so that we have access to methods like uh, readline and readint. And here, enough, sure enough, there is an stdin inside of scala.io. And if we click on it, inside of here we have methods like readline and readint and readdouble. Okay, so we can find those things that we've been using. What about all the methods for collections that we just saw recently? Well. If we come up into the scala.collections package, and actually let's go to collections immutable, here's the list that we've been using. And we have a set of different methods. So we talked about using contains, drop, diff, distinct, count. You should see a lot of names that you recognize here. We didn't talk about all of them. There are more methods on the list than we have time to cover, and also more than you would understand at this point, because you don't necessarily know everything about the, the Scala language. Over here, you might notice that next to the names are little circles, and they have little letters in them, O, C, and T. And that's because when you're writing Scala in an object-oriented manner, there are three top-level constructs that you can use. An object type, and we can click on the list here. When there is both an object and a class, or the C is for class, the T is for trait, we have both an object and a class, like in the case of list, the object is called a companion object. We don't worry too much about these at this point, but some of the methods that we use, like fill, are actually in the companion object. That's why we said list.fill with a capital L. The class has the various methods that we call when we're working with a list. Now, while I want you to be aware of the API at this point, in some ways I don't want you to stress out about the API, because there are still a lot of things in here that we haven't seen all the details of. And so, so there will be a number of things in the API that might not make sense to you. Uh, but if you want to see a list of methods or a list of the different types that you can use in Scala, this is the source that you would go to for that information.